Hi there. Uh, here's another Dutch trade for you uh, where I'm using an automated procedure and uh, going in and selecting my two runners that I want to use. This particular automation does its green up based on uh, the number of runners involved. So as we approach the scheduled off time, the automation will automatically put in the two control bets required by the dutching process and the green up process. And then three seconds after that, as you've seen there, the Dutch goes in on Duke of Deception and yes indeed. And you'll see at the right hand side it's the two runners green up rule that uh, is required to fire at once 30 pounds green up profit is reached. So it's really just a case of sitting back and waiting for things to happen. Uh, now this is a three mile one fun long handicap chase so this is going to take six minutes plus uh, at Haydock. Uh, so it can be a little while before you actually start to see any potential green. Having said that, uh, given that our target profit is about £30 uh, with two runners involved, uh, I wouldn't expect to see that being triggered until sometime in the second half of the race. You can get it in the first half of the race and you can get it early on, but generally what happens in those situations is it's the favourite has, has fallen or has clattered a fence or whatever uh, and shot out in price and as a result in this particular case it would be Duke of Deception and yes indeed would see a sudden drop and that's when you get the trigger point firing early on in the race. Typically that doesn't happen however uh, and you're likely to see a slow build up as these runners uh, make their way th around the track. Um, and so I don't expect the trigger point to be hit until getting on for three quarters of the way into uh, the race. So you'll see here the green up position is currently sitting at minus 10. Uh, it'll come up to 20 pounds thereabouts. Um, but ultimately we need to wait on the, the, the trade out being triggered and that won't happen until much later on in the race. And that in itself can be a good thing uh, because the um, as the race progresses and your runners are still in contention you can quite often find as you've seen many examples where one of my selections has taken uh, or made a late charge and that can be good because um, when it does that the odds will drop suddenly so and which triggers the green up process but because that move has been sharp and sudden the green up process actually manages to get a lower lay or a lay at lower odds I should say. So what I'm doing here is I'm switching to ladder mode to let you see how the Dutch trading process works. Uh, you can see Duke of Deception has £60 on it. Uh, now if we've got a trade out target of 30, um, Yes Indeed has 40. So if imagine Yes Indeed shot out to 1,000, Duke of Deception would have to not only make the £30 trigger point, but also recover the £40 on Yes Indeed. And you'll find consequently, he need to come down to about 1.7. And similarly, uh, you may have seen that there, that yes indeed would have to come down to the same point as well in order to recover the £60 on Duke of Deception. And that's the way the maths of uh, the Dutching process works. So if you have five runners, all of them were going to, all of them bar one, was going to shoot out to 1,000, that one runner, irrespective of their starting position, would need to get down to the same level as everybody else. Um, that's just the way that the, the, the maths work. Now, of course, when you're Dutch trading, ideally, your other runners aren't going to shoot out to 1,000. That typically happens when one of your runners falls uh, on a longer race or in a sprint race where it doesn't uh, jump out the stalls particularly sharply. Uh, that can happen then. Uh, but typically, all your runners will work in conjunction to help bring your your, uh, your green up position down. So you can see we're about three quarters of the way into the race here now. 
Uh, we can clean up manually for £13, £14, pounds, uh, but shortly, hopefully, you'll see uh, the green up process happening. And so we're heading about £27 there, you'll see. So the green up process should fire fairly quickly. Uh, we're nearly there. That's it, just fired there just now. And if you look down at the right hand side, the two runner green up rule has fired. But now we come to one of the potential problems with trading. Sometimes when your trigger point fires, one of your runners, the, the lay that closes off the bet on that runner is missed because that runner has started to drift. And you'll see from the graph on, yes indeed there to the left of the uh, green up button, it started to drift just as the green up process was triggered. And so it's lay at 4.7 calculated by Fairbot and submitted by Fairbot has been missed. And so what I end up doing is uh, recognising that it's not going to come down. I'm not going to make my £30. So I take a smaller profit simply by manually trading out, which is a bit frustrating. It can happen, but uh, hey ho, that's, that's trading for you. Uh, you've got to take these things as they come. Obviously, if you're doing this, uh, set it and forget it, you'd end up taking a loss. There you go then, guys. Uh, a successful trade, albeit minimal.